So um, at this point, the traditions that um, we practice in have been in American life and culture for, say, uh, roughly 40 to 50 years at the, at the most. Um, so I'm just wondering, what ways do you think progress in terms of establishing these traditions has not yet been made? In other words, where do we need to look to move forward more? Where do we feel like the, uh, the teachings or the availability of teachings is stagnating? What, what haven't we accomplished yet? Well, I see this as a, as a work in progress, as a kind of a wave. And I'm part of the wave. And it's a little hard for me to step up and examine it objectively because I'm just part of it. And I see that my organization, for example, uh, starting in January, will be having its 25th year, 25th anniversary mm. of the Zindo. And I can recall uh, kind of some of my rigidities 25 years ago, some ideas I had about the difference between lay and ordained, some ideas I had about ritual practice and forms that have just changed. Uh, and it wasn't that I was trying to change Western Buddhism. I was simply responding to my environment and my students and my own practice and growth in my practice. So it's, re it's kind of hard for me to answer your question, where are we stagnating? Because I would think that I tried to put those fires out as, as time went on. Uh, we are a lay center in New York City and in the Japanese tradition, you know, most of the uh, teachers are ordained and it's a, whole, it's a whole different view of lineage. And we've broken out of that. But not everyone has in this country. And I, I'd say that we, uh, like the other people on this panel, are in the avant-garde of the change I guess that's why we're invited. <laughs> uh, so certainly you can go, you can look at other uh, in the Zen line, uh, and you can see some very traditional Zen uh, monasteries in this country. And I think that's a stagnation because I don't think it's real. I mean, I, I don't think you can. It's sustainable. I think the change is is to be in the heart of the lives of the people. What have you failed to accomplish? <laughs> <laughs> what have I failed Kidding. to accomplish? <laughs> I think it's a long list in this book. <laughs> well, I think, you know, um, it really, for me, it's really a question about, uh, you know, whether, you know, uh, many people think the teachers changing the student's life or the bringing Dharma to a new country and so on. But like the Roshi just mentioned, actually it is really, uh, you know, that much actually the teacher themselves are going through a process of uh, change and evolution. And I think, I don't know who's changing who, you know, at this point. Uh, and I think we both are learning uh, from each other, you know, uh, as an Asian origin uh, uh, person myself, uh, I'm learning a lot about Western culture, uh, trying to watch as much movies as possible, <laughs> and TV shows like Dexter, <laughs> uh, when I lived in India, I never really heard anything about uh, serial killers, you know, uh, nor the idea of depression, really, I never heard of it. Uh, let alone experiencing that. But thanks to the blessings of America. <laughs> <laughs> now I think I'm quite qualified to talk about depression uh, when you talk about failures. And so actually, really we both are learning. You know, uh, teachers are learning and the students are learning and we're all learning together. It's a journey that we take together here. Uh, and I think... Um, one thing that uh, when Roshi was mentioning about this, uh, that came up to my mind is uh, uh, the story when Buddha Shakyamuni was, you know, in the stage of uh, passing away, 
you know, passing into Parinirvana. At that time, his students were quite, uh, uh, of course, uh, how do you say? Distraught? Huh? Sad? Distraught? Yeah, distraught, sad, and uh, stressed about mm. like oh, what to do now, mm. you know, after the master is gone, how can we continue this tradition? You know, so they asked the Buddha, uh, how can we continue the tradition, like Vinaya and so on, uh, the Buddhist culture, how can we continue? And Buddha's answer was very simple. He said, like, uh, you must change, you know, tradition, our culture should change according to time, country, and the law. So it was not rigid at all uh, in the original situation. So everything is, I think, need to reflect uh, to the need of sentient beings, to the need of individual uh, persons who are looking for awakening. Uh, um, because the, the, the Dharma, the Buddhism is not about uh, establishing uh, religion or church or organization, it's about benefiting beings or helping oneself and others. And so whatever resonates, whatever need to uh, change to benefit oneself and others, I think that is really uh, necessary and I think in some sense permitted by the Lord Buddha Shakyamuni himself. Uh, and so I think um, it's okay in some sense. Uh, and <clears throat> I would I would also add that uh, it's not so much a sense of lack, because I see uh, a, a transition happening with with friends and communities uh, where there is a change in relationship to that sense of failure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, so often, I think we hold ourselves in comparison to the idea of perfection mm -hmm. on the path, which is, I think part of our Judeo-Christian heritage. And, uh, and as we become more, more rooted in our, our practice, as it becomes more natural, then we uh, can relax. Uh, that, that failure is not failure, failure it's, it's part of the path. And, yeah. May I add yes, something please, to that? <laughs> Mitra. Um, <laughs> Yes, I think in many ways, you know, failure is actually part of accomplishment, I think. Mm. Yeah. And I, I framed the question that way on purpose to be slightly ironic. I do think uh, positive messaging is very important, although that can be kind of tricky, too. I <laughs> was joking, actually, with Jerry, because uh, we were talking earlier this week, and I asked him how his day was going, and he said something about having the opportunity to practice and I said, whenever a Buddhist starts talking about opportunity, <laughs> you know they're having a rough day. <laughs> um, but I do think it's, especially in this world, rather than looking at things as a failure, looking at them as a, a work in, in progress is very so important. So, you mean they don't practice when they not have a hard time? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 